uh, pray. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I promised my brothers and sisters, uh, especially those in Africa and Zimbabwe in particular, that I will be sharing with you and exposing the false preachers and the false teachers of the gospel in the country of Zimbabwe. So, as you, you are aware that Zimbabwe has got a crisis, a spiritual crisis in the form of preachers. So I promised you in my last clip that I will be mentioning names. So tonight I will just briefly introduce a heretic teaching from one of the oldest wolves in Zimbabwe, or one of the oldest false preachers in Zimbabwe, by the name of Ezekiel Guti. Yes, you heard me very well. I will be exposing the heretic teachings of Ezekiel Guti. So, as I promised, that I will play their clips and then I will analyze it using scripture. You will ask me, how dare you talk about Ezekiel Guti? And I will ask you a question, how dare I should talk about him? In 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, the Bible says, test the spirits or test the teachings of a preacher. Ezekiel Guti, Emmanuel Makandiwa, T.D. Jakes, and Utaunashe, Magaya, Makandiwa, the Pope, and anyone who carries the Bible, who preaches the scriptures, or who says, I'm a child of God, or I represent Christ, we have a right to compare and examine their teachings. So, personally, I have got a, I, I have a God-given mandate to expose these people. So now, I want you to listen to what Ezekiel Kuti is going to say about tithe. Uh, I have set my equipment in such a way that you might not hear what he is going to say, but I will play his clip and then I will explain exactly what he's, he said. If you have any doubts about what I am saying and you think what I am saying comes from my own head, I can give you a, 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 some homework and say, go and listen to a video which is called Apostle Ezekiel Guti, Reason Why I Tithe. So as you can hear from the topic, he is giving reasons of his tithing. So now I want you to listen to this. Just pay attention and listen and then I will analyze his speech in case it's not very clear I will repeat what he said listen to this Good. Listen to this. God is my money. Amen. God is my money. And people are clapping their hands. Since you give, it does to help you. It's like I told you that the reason I give tithe is not that to help the church. I give my tithe to protect my wealth. Okay. So that enemy can... Listen to what he said. Firstly, he said. God is my money. That's what he said. And then he went on to say, after saying God is my money, he says, the reason why I pay my money or why I tithe is because I want to protect my wealth. So his reasons, Ezekiel Guti, of tithing, is that he wants to protect his wealth. Question for you. You are going to Zayoja and you call yourself a member of Zayoja and you call yourself a member of Ezekiel Guti's church. Where did Ezekiel Guti get his wealth? Because here you can hear him. He is boasting. And what is he saying? He is saying the reason why he tithes or he pays a tithe is because he wants to protect his riches. Where in the Bible does it say you must tithe? To protect your riches. Show me a verse 
which he is leaning on when he is saying, I tithe because I want to protect my wealth. Okay, let me play. Let him go on. Listen to what he said. It can a good war for my wealth. Yes. Yeah. That's purpose of my when I did tithe, don't say I'm helping the church. The church was there before you. Listen to what he says. He says, when I give my tithe, I am putting a wall around my riches. I don't tithe because I want you to, to help the church. The church was there before you were born. So I give my tithe, that's Ezekiel Guti, to protect my wealth. Now here is a question, my brothers and sisters. Is there a verse in the Bible which talks of preachers tithing so that they can protect their wealth? Now I have asked you a question. I said, where did he get his wealth? If you are honest and normal and very, very practical, you will know that this man got his money from you. So now you are saying, I tithe to protect my riches. Here is the issue. This is a lie. There is no verse which talks of a person tithing, not only tithing, tithing in cash. When you read the scriptures, when you read the Bible, there is no one in the scriptures who tithed the money. You know, I hear so many people saying, you know why? In the ancient times, long ago, during the times of Isaac, during the times of Abraham, during the times of the Old Testament, they did not have money. That's a lie. Do you remember that when Abraham wanted to bury Sarah, his wife, he bought a field at Machpelah to bury Sarah. What did he use? He used the cash. Do you remember when Joseph in Egypt, when he was selling corn, what did he use? He used money. So now, in the Bible, money was always there. As money was always there, there is no command, no law which told people to tithe in cash. So now you heard this man. What did he say? He says, I pay tithe to protect my wealth. And I have asked you a question. Where did he get his wealth? Now this exposes something which you might not be aware of. Now if he is protecting his wealth, where do you get your wealth? Because he protects his tithe from you. You are the one who is giving him tithe. So he got rich because of tithing by you. So now, if you have to tithe to protect your wealth yourself, where do you get the money? Do you know these preachers are very cruel? Look at the setup of Zimbabwe. People have gone to South Africa, Mozambique, Zambia, Malawi, Kenya, Namibia, Canada, UK, Scotland, Australia, America. The whole world is Zimbabwe. We are scattered. Why? Because of the situation in Zimbabwe. Created by Guti and the elite, the system was created by these preachers. Now, when you say, he give, when he says, he gives money to protect his wealth. When you are tithing, are you protecting your wealth? Or he tells you that if you want to be rich, tithe to him. And you have been tithing and tithing and tithing and tithing for years and years and you are not rich. Some of us, people from Zayoja, we are working in restaurants in South Africa. I am not saying there's something wrong in working in a restaurant. Some of us, we are doing minimal jobs in the UK. And he is coming to collect his tithe. And the work you are doing, some of us we are doing care work. Some of us we are nurses. Some of us we are, we, are, we are working in the gardens in South Africa. Some of us we are working in Canada as nurses. And he comes with his wife. And they take your money. And now he says, I tithe because I want to protect my riches. Now I want to ask you, Zayoja, child. Why do you tithe to a man who is protecting his wealth? Are you protecting your wealth? Are you rich? You tell me you are rich when you are working. 
You tell me you are rich when you have left Zimbabwe and you are suffering in Mozambique, in Zambia, in Malawi, in South Africa, in the UK. And you, we all know that the way we are living here in the UK, we are just scrambling like, or scrounging like everyone else. And then he comes. He tells you, he tells me, and everyone that the reason why he ties is because he wants to protect his wealth. Listen to what he's saying. I'll play. I'll continue. Listen. Uh, so when I give, I give to protect my wealth. So that the enemy will not come to betray my wealth. I I when I give, I give to protect my wealth. So that when Satan, the enemy, comes, you will not take my wealth. That's why I tithe. That is Ezekiel Guti for you. Here is a question I want to give you or some homework. Show me a verse in the scriptures where people tithed to protect their wealth. Do you know what I want to do this evening? I want just to give you some verses which talk of tithing. This is just a skeleton structure of what I will talk about. The next video I am going to release is called Tithing in the Bible. I will show you what biblical tithing is in the scriptures. So when I have shown you what tithing is in the scriptures, I will give you with the ball in your coats and I want you to make a judgment that is it good, credible with what he's saying or is deceiving you. Listen to this. In Deuteronomy chapter 14, I will read verse 22. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verses 22, I will read. Just give me one minute. You shall surely tithe all your increase of your seed, that which comes from the field year by year. And you shall eat before God in the place where he shall choose. Two things I found in one verse I have read. One, you were supposed to tithe products from your field. Yeah, by yeah. So now what?